what's up guys and welcome back to software and Audio solutions and today we're talking about hunt showdown now this game has been out for quite some time and i've been playing this game with a buddy of mine and a couple of friends of mine and it's actually a really good game to play it's an awesome game to play a buddy of mine actually bought this for me because he wanted me to play it with him now a lot of people are getting frame drops in this game game stutters lag fps issues and just in general a very bad gameplay experience now don't worry because i've been there i've been in that steps I used to use a very old system to play this game and I got low FPS and if I knew about these tweaks that I'm going to show you today I would have gotten more FPS with my older system but now I got a better system that can run this game perfectly fine but I'm going to show you what you can do inside Windows, what you can do inside your graphics settings and what you can do inside the game's graphics settings to get your game up and running so you can do about 60 FPS solid and above. Now I'm going to jump straight into that. Now first of all I just want to go down and I mean they have released a new update which is 1.6 so they released a new map. This will be interesting to see because I just did the update which is like 31 gigs or something like that. I'm not exactly sure but it was like something like that. But anyways they brought out a new map. Now with this new map they obviously brought out new lighting new tweaks new things new patch notes and stuff like that so if you're getting frame drops and stuff like that and just in general your gameplay experience is really really bad stay tuned and i'm going to show you what you can do with your system to get more fps out of your game with your windows with your graphics card and this is for all users out there it doesn't matter if you're a laptop user a desktop user a gaming laptop user a gaming desktop user i'm going to show you what you're going to need to do inside this game to get more fps and in windows and your graphic settings so stay tuned and i'm gonna jump straight into that and let's get this going all right ladies and gentlemen the first thing you're going to need to do is go into your desktop and then go to the search button over here and type in graphics settings just like that and then click on graphics settings if you have this option over here switch this on you'll get more fps out of your game i highly recommend switching this on once you're done with that, you're going to go to browse over here. You're going to click on browse and we're going to go and find where Hunt Showdown is installed. So you go to Steam, you go to Steam apps, you click on common and you look for Hunt Showdown. So I'm just going to click on anything and press H and find Hunt Showdown. So I click on Hunt Showdown and I click on huntshowdown.exe, which is this file over here. Double click on it and it will be the exe file. Then you go to options and you click on high performance and make sure it chooses your graphics card so it will use your graphics card instead of your cpu trust me this works and it works 100 percent if i knew about this before i would have done this a long time ago go to save so it saves so it will use high performance on your graphics card once you're done with that what you're going to need to do is go to the search button again and type in edit power plan just like that and click on edit power plan once you're over here you're going to go to power options and create a new power plan then you're going to go to high performance and delete everything inside here just delete everything inside here and type in hunt showdown just like that and say next say never say never and create once you're done with that you have a new power plan for hunt showdown and go to change plan settings go to change advanced power settings click on that and then now we have an active hunt showdown power option so what you're going to need to do over here is where it says hard disk you're going to click on this and where it says turn off hard disk after you're going to change this from 10 if it's on 10 or 20 yours might be on 20 or 10 just change it to zero type in zero and say apply click anywhere and it's going to say never once you're done with that you go down now for laptop users you are going to get two options here in minimum processor state it's going to say on battery and plugged in change them both to 100 percent if you're a desktop user you're only going to get one option so just click on the box, type in 100% or 100 and apply and go to maximum processor state and make sure it says 100% and say OK and close out of this. Now for NVIDIA users, what you're going to need to do is you right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. If you do not see this here, what you need to do is just go to the search button over here and type in NVIDIA control panel. Or you can just go to your start if it's pinned here or if it's pinned on your desktop. But normally it would be just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. When the video control panel opens, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go over here, go to adjust image settings with preview, click on this, and where it says use the advanced 3D image settings, you're going to click on use my preference and change it from all the way from quality to performance and say apply. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to this option over here and you're going to select your graphics card in this option here. Do not select your CPU. I repeat, do not select your CPU. Select your graphics card and say apply if you've never done this before. Now, once you're done with that, 
you're going to go to a manage 3d settings once you're over here you're not going to change anything in global settings because global settings is for your whole windows and every single game you do not want to change this you want to change it only for hunt showdown so you click on program settings this might take a little while to load because i have a lot of games there we go okay cool so now you scroll down and you look for hunt showdown if you do not find it in this drop down arrow all you need to do is go to add once the ad has opened all you need to do is go to browse and go and find where your hunt showdown is installed so you just go to hunt showdown so steam install go to your your steam apps go to common click on anything press h find hunt showdown and add hunt showdown now hunt showdown has been added now you go to here you change this to off not that one put it on off say okay you scroll down scroll down where it says CUDA gpus you select this do not use global settings use these gpus and click on your graphics card that you're currently running and say okay so it will say all like that what you're going to need to do next is you're going to go down you're going to go down and where it says quality you're going to click on this and you're going to change it from quality to performance if you're rocking a low tier gaming pc or a mid tier gaming pc put this on performance do not put it on quality if you're rocking anything lower than a mid tier gaming pc like a very low end gaming pc or a low end gaming laptop put this on high performance play around with this this will help you a lot with fps in the game but i highly recommend putting on performance or high performance once you're done with that what you're going to need to do is here you're going to turn this off make sure this is off and then you just say apply and once you're done with that you go out of this and i'm going to show you what you're going to need to do inside the game to get more fps out of your game and let's jump straight into that all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see we are in hunt showdown right now so the first thing that you're going to need to do is when you get into hunt showdown just go to this little gear icon over here and go to graphics and then the very first thing you're going to need to do is where it says basic settings scroll all the way down and go here if you do not use msi afterburner or anything that uses or shows your fps then put this on detailed so you can see your fps in game if you're not using this i'm using this i actually don't even need this but i do keep it on in anyways okay so now i'm going to show you proof in game of how the fps changes with tweaks and stuff that you're going to need to do inside this game because this game is very graphics demanding okay so the first thing that you're going to need to do is put this on your, the resolution of your screen if you've got a 1080p monitor put it on 1080p if you've got a 720p monitor put it at 720p but i highly recommend putting it on the highest scale you can put to or resolution you can put to as a display or a monitor keep this at full screen put this on 100 i highly recommend putting this on 100 if you're still getting fps loss you can actually drop this down a little bit to about 95 or about to 90 and say apply once you're done with that this one over here you can actually change these around with the vram usage that it's going to use i keep mine here with my graphics card global graphics this is obviously on custom because you're going to customize this this one here which is object quality keep this on high because you want your stuff to look good inside the game okay texture quality you can put this on medium okay this one over here you can actually put this on one if you're getting fps loss and you're rocking a low tier gaming pc this you can put off the game might look a little bit worse than what it does when you put it on but it will give you an fps boost like i said before ladies and gentlemen i've had a really shitty machine before so i know what to put this on so where it says lighting quality you put this on medium shadow quality low effect quality off this off this low scroll down obviously you put this on detailed and max fps you just put this on this depth of field you take this off motion blur turn it off you do not need these two because they're going to use your graphics card say apply once it's applied let it just apply quickly i'm just going to show you okay so here we go so now we're going to go to advanced now already you can see my fps climbing by a lot okay so this one here this one here this one here this one here turn it off now it's going to ask you to restart your system and you'll get more fps out of your game you'll get more fps out of your game do these settings and you'll see a massive increase in your game and the game will run smooth and you'll get a smooth gameplay experience okay so i'm just going to say cancel and as you can see look at my fps already this is in lobby 
and it's boosting my FPS. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you proof inside the game. So I'm quickly going to jump inside into the game and show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do some graphic tweaks inside the game to show you what happens, what you must put on and what you must put off because it starts eating your frames. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to jump straight into that and show you how to do that inside the game. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the game right now. And as you can see, the game doesn't look that great, okay? But look at my FPS. So let me do this. I'm going to press escape. I'm going to go to options. And I'm going to go to graphics, okay? So I'm going to put these on, okay? I'm going to put them on again. It does ask you to restart your PC, but I'm just going to put them on. And as you can see, it does absolutely nothing in the game. It will only start doing something once you restart the game. So let me just do this. I'm going to go to options again. I'm going to turn them off. Turn these off, okay? And restart your game. Where it goes to basic settings. This one over here, I'm going to put this now to 100. Now watch my FPS and watch my game. It gives me a little bit more detail and my FPS is very, very similar, okay? So I'm going to go back to options and I'm going to keep these on high. Texture, I'm going to put on high. This one, I'm going to put on 16 and say apply. Okay, sorry that it's taking so long. Okay, there we go. So I applied it. And as you can see, the game looks exactly the same. Nothing has changed. The game's quality is exactly the same. Okay, so I'm going to go to options again. I'm going to go here. So this here, I'm going to show you something quickly. This is why I told you to put this on like this. Because if I start putting this on high, put this on high, put this on high, put this on high, I'm going to apply it. I'm going to go back into my game. Nothing. Nothing happens. No nothing has happened in my game. Okay, so I press escape, go here, and I'm going to turn this on this, and I'm going to say apply. Now, I'm going to lose FPS, and my game is going to look a little bit better. Okay, so now I go to options, I go down, and I put these on, that I told you to put off, and my FPS is lower. Okay, go to options again, I'm just going to show you. This one here, like I said, on there okay this if i just put this all on high and say apply and go out that's what my game's going to do okay i'm going to lose a lot of fps a lot okay and your game is not going to look that much better you do do not want your game's fps to be like this so you go to options again so now what you're going to do is this okay so number one this you put on high or on medium this one you put on high or on medium to get your quality to look good. This, put this on this. This, you put on off. These, you put on low, like lighting. Shadow, you don't even really need. Put off, effect quality, you do not need. Put off, post-process quality. This, you put on low. Particle quality, this, you put on low. And just make sure you have these two unticked. Apply it, go into your game. And boom, more FPS. And you can actually play the game perfectly fine. So this thing's going to kill me now because I've got a shotgun. Let me just see if I can fuck him up. Do I have a knife? Anyways, so as you can see, my FPS is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So just use the settings I just showed you now and your gameplay experience will be much better. I know it's not about the quality. A lot of people want, obviously, the game to look better as well. What the actual hell? <laughs> so, anyways. Um, so, if you, I know that a lot of people want better quality in the game so the game can look better. Yes, I understand that. You want your game to look amazing. But you want frames the more frames the better the gameplay experience the better you're going to be able to shoot someone because if you're doing low fps especially like now i'm doing high fps but once you get into a gunfight and stuff like that and you start losing fps you're going to get upset because your fps is going to drop under 60 while you're in a gunfight and you're going to rage quit so just follow my steps like i said go to options go to basic and put it all on these things that I showed you. And obviously put these off. And in advanced settings, you turn all of these off and restart your game. Once you're done with that, if this helped you, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here. And as always, peace out.